Welcome to Trading Nation. I'm Michelle Caruso Cabrera. Let's take a look at Apple because the stock is on track for its best week in over a year. This after three straight weeks of losses. So should investors trust this bounce? Larry McDonald publishes the Bear Traps report and Phil Striebel is with RJO Futures. Phil, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not completely sold on Apple. If you look at the performance for the year, we're only up about 1%, whereas the NASDAQ, the broad index, is up 5 You know, it's a tough game being a tactical trader, picking one stock out. You know, and Apple could face a lot of headwinds. We do have that, you know, potential suit that could go down as a result of them lagging some of the phones out there. It's just too much company-specific risk. I think you'd be better off looking at the complete NASDAQ and looking at the entire market, the broad diversification. Larry, what do you think? Well, keep in mind, Apple has um, one of the largest bond portfolios on the planet Earth. I mean, Apple's bond portfolio is bigger than many mutual funds. And, uh, you know, rates have just gone up on, the, on 10 years uh, from 2% to near 3%. So they've got some, some mark-to-market losses there. And, and the equity market cap is $900 billion. And, and the way I trade Apple over the years is every Every like 18 months or so, Apple goes on sale. And literally in 2013, nobody wanted to buy this stock. Nobody. And uh, it had like a 40% drawdown because of a transition in the business. So you have to wait for that moment for Apple. You can't chase Apple up at $900 billion market cap. It makes no sense. It's a screaming sell here. Okay. Wait for a much better entry point. Gentlemen, thanks so much. Our thanks to Larry and Phil. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.